Hello, this is Tony with Northwest Vanning and Adventures. Hey, today is uh, June the 15th, 2016. And we're just about ready to hit the road. Uh, we're going to be heading uh, west on 126. And uh, we're going to be stopping at some pretty cool places. And we're just going to kind of just hit the road and just uh, pull over when we feel like we need to uh, take a break and uh, just get out and stretch our legs. Uh, but we got the green machine here. Uh, all packed down with our gear. And we got the traveling companions here. We got Pablo and Gracie. They'll be, uh, they'll be uh, riding on the bed in the back, hopefully. Of course, Pablo, he likes to be held, so we might have to be hold, or one of us will be probably holding him, so... Anyway, we'll be stopping along the way and giving you guys an update, so we'll uh, check back here in a few. See you then. Hey, we just made our first stop uh, on our way to Florence. We're about halfway between uh, Eugene and Florence. We're at a little state park. Uh, it's Lynn Law Park. And it has an awesome little boat ramp. They, um, it's pretty well uh, used uh, throughout the year. Uh, steelhead and other uh, fishes in the in the stream. But uh, anyway, I have a little history here. Years ago, uh, when I was driving my Volkswagen van, I pulled over here, and I had one of my other traveling companions. Uh, my sissy girl, she was a, a, a little Malamute, a Newfie mix, a very hairy little dog. Well, anyway, she wanted to go down there to the water, and the water is just so cold and clear. It's so beautiful. Um, let me take you down here and show you this. This is awesome. Well, anyway, uh, I had her on a short leash, and anyway... She, uh, she got down by the water, and anyway, she, uh, she wanted to go in. And she lunged, and next thing I know, I'm, uh, I'm in here swimming with the fishes. Well, it's pretty rocky down here, too, so I was pretty lucky I didn't, you know, slip and fall and hit my head on something. But you can kind of see the, the beauty of this river. And like I said, it's very cold right now. Um, but it's really nice, it's peaceful. If I could camp here, I probably would, but uh, it's a state park. There's no camping here. But you can pull over and have a picnic and use the restrooms and hang out for a while. Um, if you do, uh, in Oregon, you have to have a, a state pass, or they allow you up to uh, 15 minutes to uh, do your business and hit the road again. And that's cool that they allow you to do that. But anyway, this is a little park. I uh, actually went over to this sign right over here, and it's kind of a... A little posting to boaters about, you know, cleaning their boats and uh, trying to keep off the evasive species when they get down in the river. But when I did, I, I stepped in a big old pile of dog poop. And uh, otherwise, I'd go over and show you the sign again. I just got my shoes cleaned. But uh, anyway... Uh, People should really pick up after their animals. I mean, I always carry uh, some doggy bags in my pocket for my little guys. Uh, we do want to try to keep our, our parks and other places clean just for the fact of uh, keep them nice so they're pet friendly. Other than that, you know, I know some people don't have bags in their pocket, but... Um, stuff happens but 
it's about keeping the place nice but anyway we're gonna we're gonna head on over to florence and we'll probably stop there i think i'm ready for a coffee so we'll stop there and get one and and maybe we'll go down uh look at the ocean anyway see you later hey just quick update uh we just uh stopped in florence had a a cup of coffee and uh now we're here at the umqua river lighthouse and uh this is a really old lighthouse you can see it in the background uh it's really an old school lighthouse and we're gonna go take a uh, guided tour of this place i don't think they're gonna allow us to do any kind of videos inside but anyway uh, we'll take some pics and uh and we'll have those posted so we'll see you in a little bit hey quick update uh we're heading uh south on 101 uh from the uh umqua river uh lighthouse and uh we saw this uh way station alongside the road so we kind of pulled over real quick because they have a digital readout that'll tell you the way to your vehicle well we pulled through and uh we saw the digital readout. We weigh uh, 5,350 pounds. And uh, we would have stopped and did a little, you know, update there, but there was uh, an employee with the Oregon Department of Transportation. He was there and he was kind of giving us the evil eye. So we just kind of decided to keep on moving down the road. And we are here at, uh, we went through uh, Charleston. We're at the, uh, Ocean Shore Acres. Excuse me, Shore Acres State Park. Uh, it's very beautiful. Uh, you can see a little bit from here, but we're gonna walk on down to the water or the viewpoint over here and give you a shot from there as well. So we'll see you here in a few. Well, we walked to the edge of uh, the walkway here at Shore Acres, and here's a sign that says, Danger, keep back of sign. And we'll walk a little bit down this way, and oh, it's just so beautiful. It's just amazing to look at what the water has done to these rocks. It's almost breathtaking to just imagine how long it took to do something like this and it's so barren it's almost like it's a like a, a, a different planet when you look at this stuff it's just so amazing I don't see any life forms out here other than a seagull I see a seagull right out there on top of the rock but that's about it but the water is just so beautiful. It, it is a little bit rough out there. I don't think I want to be a surfer and be out there trying to catch a wave. But anyway, we'll walk on down the path and give you another shot on the other side of this uh, viewpoint. You know, we might even get a glimpse of a whale out there somewhere, you know, because they're still running up and down the coast. I can see a big commercial fishing rig out there about, I don't know, five miles offshore there. Kind of hard to see with probably the GoPro, but... Oh man, it looks like a foreign planet up here, from up here. Yeah, you'd be damn crazy if you got down on those rocks. Oh, look at this. This is just absolutely cool. To think that the water did all of this. 
That bank kind of looks like it's kind of eroding a little bit. I don't think I'd want to get too close to that fence. Wow. It is amazing. Anyway, we're going to wrap things up. And anyway, we're going to head on back to the van, the green machine, and head on down 101. So.